everybody, it's your friend Starmerd here, and we're back with another episode of Terra Nil. I hope you're having a fantastic and amazing day today. In this episode, I hope you brought your coat, because we are going to go to the polar region and work to reclaim the volcanic glacier. Let's go ahead and zoom in. All right, we get to begin by using seismic detonators to cause fissures to erupt, bringing lava to the surface. Use geothermal plants and solar amplifiers to melt snow allowing you to clean the ground beneath, detoxify the polar oceans, as it is also a source of life. All right, let's get a quick look at our map here. We got our oceans down on the bottom, a couple of things that we can blow open to create some lava, and we're gonna do that with our seismic detonators. So let's go ahead and we'll work towards uh, melting the snow, I guess. Start with that right there, and let's get some, uh, some detonations happening here. I'm gonna try and see if I can connect these two lava flows. I think that would be handy. Let's see if that works. It's close, but not quite there, I don't think. Yeah, we need a little bit more, unfortunately. Um, let's see what this is gonna do. I'm not sure. So that should spill down over in here. Okay, I was wondering if it was gonna go over on this side, but it looks like it's gonna fill in this area a little bit here, which would be very nice. That's what we need. Let's see if we can get some geothermal plants started up in here. Uh, we're going to utilize these guys to create power instead of our windmills like we've been using uh, before. That guy's going to clear some snow out of the way, which is going to be good because we need that. Sure, do that. And then let's kind of uh, work our way over in this way. Now, we do have quite a big open space in here, so maybe we want to uh, kind of connect that a little bit. So let's go like that. And we'll kind of work our way this way. So we're going to utilize all this lava to make rocks. And then we are going to go ahead and grow some lichen on there eventually here. Uh, but we got to connect it. I did try this um, just a little bit ago here. And uh, I failed it. So I'm going for it a second time here. Let's see if we can get it to work this time around. And let's go see ahead and see if we can get a power plant here. Okay, cool. Um, I would like to try and reach the ocean a little bit more and try and scrub that clean. Oh. We might be able to reach it okay. We got quite a few scrubbers. Let's go ahead and give it a go. Let's try and focus a little bit more on the ocean. Get our scrubbers going. We have a lot of snow to melt. Uh, we also have a couple of options over in here for our bonus goals. Snow melts at zero degrees C. So once we get a little bit warmer, we'll be able to melt some snow. We also have the cloud cedar combustor, dehumidifier, and flash freezer. Uh, we know about cloud cedar and the combustor. The dehumidifier does exactly what it sounds like, lowers the humidity and then the flash freezer makes it colder. So we might need to utilize those to adjust the climate here in a little bit, but let's continue to try and make the climate just a little bit warmer. Let's go ahead and blow this up, see if that does it. There we go, we got the snow to melt and we connected another lava flow. Okay, so the snow melting is good because that's gonna make our scrubbers be more efficient. So let's just wait just a little bit while the snow melts and then we'll get our scrubbers into action. All right, the first couple of scrubbers that I placed uh, were kind of a waste. I should have waited to do this until we had the temperature at the proper temperature because now these are going to be utilized a little bit more efficiently. Uh, let's see if we can get this all cleaned up. Trying to get a little bit in the water there. That looks pretty good. We're getting getting someplace with it. Go ahead and do that. And we're just going to continue to go around um, as we do and scrub up the land. Get the water cleaned up as well. Hopefully utilize that down the road for some kelp. Forest. You'll have to check that out when we get to it. Okay, so we're working on the green. That's what I'm going to do for a little bit here. Just kind of fill in some things. Uh, going to scrub the oceans. Going to use a couple of irrigators here and get this thing filled in. And I'll be back in a moment. All right, we finally achieved our green goal for now. Uh, the next thing we get to do is increase the biodiversity by growing tundra on the highlands. Start fires to create ash on which to grow forest. Freeze the lava flow is to create rock fields to grow lichen and use monorails to create kelp forests in the ocean. All right, you can see where we plopped our uh, couple irrigators down. I tried to take advantage of them as much as possible. I did a little area down over in here. We got a whole bunch of the water cleaned up, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, that got us a pretty good chunk. So let's go ahead. We'll go up over in here and we'll get uh, the tundra started. So something to uh, keep in mind here that I screwed up a few times on our, my original playthrough is that the biodome is sensitive to the humidity. 
So make sure that you complete your biome requirements before you mess with your temperature, humidity, and toxicity. Uh, so just get the biomes done first, uh, and then you don't have to worry about messing up the uh, requirements for those uh, different buildings. So there we go. We got a couple of our tundra started. We do need to do a few more. I think I'm going to need another irrigator. So we're going to go ahead and plop that guy over in here. And we'll do that. And I'm going to fill in a whole bunch of this with these guys. We're also going to need to burn this tundra to make forest. So let's make sure that we got our tundra completed, which we have. And now we need to go to our forest. So let's go ahead and we'll grab our solar amplifier. And we're going to burn up some of these tundras. And we'll go ahead and we'll start down here. And I'm going to burn this up and try and make this as much of a forest as we can. I don't think the fire is going to move down to this space. So we may need to utilize the solar amplifier twice. It looks like that is going to be the case. So just fine. We can go ahead and do that. And then we are going to have a little bit more ashy area to work. Oh boy, that's going a little bit crazier than I was expecting. Well, we should have enough ash now. <laughs> Oh well, that should be okay. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our arboretums and see what we can do here. Oh, 51, good hunk there. So 94. Oh, that was um, that was uh, not too bad of a mistake. I kind of like that. It made it a little bit easier for us. Okay. Uh, anywhere else that we can plop a quick forest down? There we go. That should do it for us. Okay. Next up, we need to make some rocks so that we can make some lichens. Now, that was one reason why I kind of did this big old lava pool over in here, because we have the igneous heat sink. Cools lava in range, forming rock. So we have quite the uh, the range of lava here. So let's go ahead and we'll go do this. And get a couple of these guys working to create some rock for us. All right, that's a good hunk. Let's see if it's going to be enough. And then we need to grab our algae greenhouse. This is going to create lichens on the rocks in range. That's a good chunk there, 63. Let's see if this does anything for us. Uh, a little bit. We're going to need to put another irrigator down over on this side so that we can grow some lichens. So we'll plop that guy there in the corner and grow some lichens right there. All right. Not too bad. looks like I missed a little bit of lava there, uh, but we can continue to work our way up the hill here and keep growing some lichens. It looks like we have an irrigator right here that we can take advantage of. Let's go ahead and we'll plop that guy down there. Iceberg swarm. So we achieved zero degrees celsius and then 25 percent or less toxicity so we got some icebergs all right and this should do it for our lichens that's quite significant amount of rock there okay three out of four biomes done next up we gotta move some of these lichens down to the water so luckily we have quite a few open blue spots down here but we do need to build the monorail system so let's go ahead and we'll get started up here we're gonna work our way down to the water uh looks like i don't quite have enough rock over here here to reach the water so we might have to kind of work our way around which won't be that big of a deal so we'll get our we got our first post started let's go as far down as we can there's another one okay and let's see if we can reach right here oh yeah that'll be great okay so now at this point we can make a, a little bit of a turn and remember we're gonna have to utilize these guys to uh, pick up all these buildings as well so by having as many as we have here uh, that's not gonna be that big of a deal I don't think I can reach this that might be an issue. <laughs> Let's see what we can do here. Not quite there. All right. So, hmm. Might have to get a little bit funky here. So we'll have to figure that out as we go along here. But we should be able to move some of these kelp forests now. We need to grab the monorail and then the algae greenhouse. So that one's kind of a little bit of ways away. So we'll have to do that. Move you. Um, We can kind of move down this hill a little bit. Let's see how far we can go. We do need to reach this anyways. Yeah, it's kind of difficult to get over there too. Okay, so we'll grab you, and we should be able to move this into the water. Let's see how good of a kelp forest we can make. I think I saw 17 about the highest. There it is. Let's go about right there. Okay, that's going to move that. Of course, cart it up and drive it on over there, just like before. And there we go. We got our kelp forest started. I think what we're going to have to do, because we need some rocks over in here uh, to reach some of these points... So the way to do more rocks, remember, is if we were to uh, cool down our lava flows. So if we did this right here, that should be good enough to connect our, uh, our, our monorail points here. Let's see if that is the case. It sure is. Excellent. So we're going to go about right there. One more down over in here. That should capture everything. Okay, now we got those guys. 
And then can we connect this? We need a little bit more. Is this close enough? Oh, heck yeah. Okay, so we got it there. Okay, good. Uh, and then we need just a little bit more. All right, I found a solution. <laughs> we just had to blow up the more rocks so that the, um, the lava would move. So then we I should be able to connect this. There we go. That will do it for us. So let's see. We need to get, reach out as far as possible here. It looks like I'm going to have to kind of repeat the same thing. We do have enough points, hopefully, to be able to pull this all off. Detonate that. We're going to go ahead and grab our heat sink as soon as it's done forming. There we go. And then we need to uh, plop in. There it is. The last monorail station over here that we're going to need, I think. I'll put one more down just in case we can't quite reach that one. Okay, so that side looks good. This little area is uh, not quite as good. Do we have the recycler thing like bef we had before? No, we don't. Okay, so this might be a little bit uh, more tricksy over in here. We're still trying to make the kelp forests. Let's finish that up. So we'll go ahead and we'll grab this guy. We're going to go ahead and move this over here. We should be able to do this now. Ooh, nice 47 right there. Let's see where that gets us with a kelp forest. We should be able to grab a couple other ones that we have scattered around as well. Do we have any more? Oh, yeah. One right here. Grab you. And, okay, that's going to be a whole zero. This will be a 32, 43, 52. Let's go ahead and we'll plop that there. Let's see where that's going to leave us with our kelp forests. Uh, that one might have been a waste. Let's see. Nope, that'll work. It'll fill on the other side. And I think we'll be... Dang near there with our kelp forest. We'll see here in just a second, though. If not, no, nope, we got it. Don't have to worry about it. Great. Okay, next up, we know what's next. We're going to recycle and find some animals. Okay, so let's do it. We got to get our airship placed. Let's go ahead. You know, this is uh, the solution we needed. Okay, so let's go about right here, and then we'll grab our recycler station, which will then connect everything over in here i think will be good to go now now we do have the recycling silo which is great uh, we could utilize that to pick up some things we don't really need to because we have the beacons just like before okay so let's see what can we grab let's go ahead and we'll work our way back let's start with this one since it's further out and then we're gonna grab you and let's go ahead and just see what that looks like after a while we're gonna speed it up again and we should be able to grab some of these guys out of here and start moving backwards as well. So we'll just queue up a couple of them here and work our way back. Send a whole bunch of those uh, little guys out there, do some picking up, and I'll just leave it like that for now. Um, let's work our way um, over here, but get those guys picked up. Be good. Grab you. Now we can grab this up here. I don't want to go any further uh, because we want to keep this track right here. We may need to move in a little bit uh, to capture some of this other... Yeah, we're going to need to move in right here to capture this guy, the Arboretum. Looks like we got one more over in here, too, that we're going to have to do that with. So let's go ahead. We'll go as far as we can. That should work. Okay, and then we're going to grab our little beacon thing and start to pick up. It looks like we got this area good to go. I don't see any other buildings. Excellent. So let's go ahead and do the thing. All right, we have uh, all of the uh, points are selected for pickup. So that should do it. So now we have to look at our animals. Oh, but before that, we have to build our animal observatory, of course. I always forget about this guy. Uh, it's probably going to get ruined once I place it, because we have these guys picking up the area. I'll just wait just a second, and then I'll place it down, and then we'll be able to go for it. Okay. Got it. Okay, looks like we got some deer-looking thing. Um, Maybe an owl, wolf, narwhal. Let's see if we can get the narwhal figure up. Ew, nasty polluted water. We don't want to do that. Oh, so something we might have to do. Oh, look at this. We won't, wow, that was a pretty good guess. Okay, so we need range of ocean. We need ice sheet and we need low temperature. Oh, okay. Now let's look at our bonus objectives here. How cold is low temperature? We can get to, hmm. So there's negative 5C. So we need to make it a little bit colder. So how are we going to do that? The flash freeze. Freezes surrounding vegetation and liquid to lower the atmospheric temperature. Now course since we've already picked up everything uh, we don't have the necessary materials out and about in the world uh, to utilize any more machines so we'll have to put that thing down not that big of a deal and then we'll go ahead and do our little uh, flash freeze thing and that should get us pretty good looks like it's gonna be about minus 3c and we're trying to get to minus 5 so we will have to do it one more time and that should do it right there all right, so we have the first requisite for our snowfall. 
Let's see if that was good enough for the, uh, what I think is a narwhal here. Okay, so we got the ice sheet. It looks like the temperature isn't low enough yet. Interesting. I wonder how cold this thing has to be. Okay, maybe we skip the narwhal and we keep working on something else. So we have the elk. Let's see if this is going to work somewhere else. Let's see what we need. Okay, we did get the lichens, but we didn't get the other prerequisites. So let's see what else we need. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do, there's a couple of things. Uh, I do know that this is a snowy owl. I remembered that now. Uh, so we have the forest, but we need more snow. It's a snowy owl, right? So what we got to do, we got to get the snowfall started. So we need some more humidity and some more toxicity cleanup. So let's go ahead and we'll work on the humidity. That's an easy thing to fix. That's a plus six right there. What do we need? We need, uh, looks like 50. So let's go ahead and we're going to cart. We're going to start working on that. I should have done this, of course, before I picked up, but it's too late now. So we got to do some of this first. All right, we got to 40%. We got moss on boulders, icebergs formed, and fungi in forest. Looking good. Uh, we are also at the uh, butterflies, but it's still a little cold for those guys. Okay, we have our 40%. We're, oh, it looks like 70 is the, the humidity we were looking for. So we do need to do a little bit more if we want to reach that. Not too big of a deal. We're just going along, uh, plopping some of these guys down, and then wherever the cloud cedars fit, we're doing like that. So let's see, we can only do the one for now. Yeah, we're going to have to reset up the monorail system. Unfortunately, that was a, a silly mistake on my end, but that's okay. It looks like uh, kind of out of options. Oh, there's a plus five. That's pretty good. All right, so I'm going to move on from that. I don't think I'm going to be able to reach that, but we still want to try and get to the snowfall beginning, uh, and it looks like we did warm up a little bit, so we're going to have to um, go ahead and cool it again. And, of course, we have to grab our flash freezer to do that. Ooh, that would that would do it. Minus C, that would make it cold enough. All right. Okay, so now that we got that guy placed, we should be cold now, negative 10. So I'm curious if now we're cold enough for the, wall, the narwhal. I don't know how cold this guy needs. Okay, we got it. So now we need some more ocean. So I think we should be able to grab the narwhal if we did about right here. Not quite. Oh boy, so close. I think the uh, polluted ocean is screwing us over here. So we gotta get the snowfall to be in. So we need to clean up a little bit more. We're at 24%. We should be able to do that relatively simply here. Let's go ahead and get one of these guys down. Let's see if we can reach a little bit further into uh, the toxic area. All right, snowfall begins. So we got all of those uh, requirements met. And there we go. We can see the snow starting to fall. If we can get a little bit better on our uh, toxicity. Whoa, crazy. <laughs> if we can get a little bit better on our toxicity, we'll get the Aurora Borealis, which would be really cool. So let's go ahead and we'll just wait a second. We'll let the snow cover the land. And it is purifying the toxicity as it goes along, which is going to be great. You can see that we did get the fish there. Coming along quite nicely in fact. Great. All right, we got the Aurora. Nice. So there you go. You can see that it's forming. Pretty cool. And we should be able to grab all of these buildings. I, I think so. And then we got to, of course, tie it back to the main ship here, which shouldn't be too bad. We'll just go ahead and do a couple of lines like so. And that looks pretty good about right there. Okay. Now, back to this again. Let's see. Okay, so if we want to complete anything else, we don't really need any more toxicity being lowered. It's great. We got the auroras. Uh, I don't want to worry about heating it back up. Now we needed some critters. That's the other thing we needed. And we did clean up the oceans. Okay, so now, now that it's so cold... Let's see if we can get some of these buddies. So we needed the ice pack and we needed the ocean. So let's see if that's enough. There it is. We got the narwhal. Nice. That's one down. Okay. Uh, that looks like a penguin. Let's see. Okay. So we got uh, the ice part, but the ocean part, not quite enough. So let's see. It looks very similar, I guess, to the, uh, the narwhal there. There's the penguin. Okay. Great. Let's see. What else can we get here? We got another... Um, wolf looking guy volpine okay so that'd be a fox maybe i'm thinking of the the snow fox here let's see if that's gonna be enough uh we probably need some cover let's go ahead and hit that up and there we go we got our arctic fox with the snow and the tundra in range so that's our three critters that we have to have there we go we got the snowy owl we got um, a little bit of tree a little bit of forest action and a little bit of tundra so that's four animals that's pretty good so let's go ahead and we'll uh, we'll get this uh, area cleaned up all right, we're all cleaned up. We are prepped to take off, and here we go. This looks pretty good. I really like the uh, the polar aspect. It's not just a plain white. I like the, the lichen idea. 
I thought the tundra uh, being colorful like that was cool. And the animals were kind of fun too. There we go. We got the wasteland reclaimed. Looks pretty cool. And I'm pretty happy about it. Got the penguins going on there. Narwhals. Sweet. If there's any animals I wanted to get, it was going to be the narwhal. Glad we got that one finished. All right, we are back to the planet view here, and we'll see how we did on the polar region. 57. Better than the first one, not as good as the last, but that's all right. Let's see what the next one is, and that's going to be Continental, the flow, the flooded city. That sounds pretty cool. Looks like we got a lagoon, bamboo, sunflowers, and deciduous forest. And it uh, looks like a little turtle action again, maybe uh, some kind of hawk looking thing. But, of course, we're going to go ahead and check that out on the next episode. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Terranil, and I hope to see you on the next one. Have a fantastic and amazing rest of your evening, day, or night.